Hey guys, Daniel you know, for here, back with another video, and today we're doing Vlogmas episode 8. I am going from December 10th, 2022 to December 25th, 2022 with straight consistent uploads every single day. Anyways, let's get straight into this world tour of my world called SS Sniper Wolf. Don't ask why that it's named that. I think we just thought it was a cool name for a Minecraft world. Anyways, this is the um, air duct tunnel that I made that connects to the house, the main house that we will tour later on. So it's basically an air duct tunnel. This little crafting area wasn't supposed to stay here, but this world has got stopped playing on after the friend group this world took, or had I should say, just um, got really demolished. Anyways, you can go through the cracks here and go into the basement of the house that the air ducts connect to. Anyways, let's uh, let's actually do a full tour of the house. So if you come outside, this is the house. This is what it looks like. And also, if you're wondering, this world is also 2020, just like the world we've uh, played previously um, on the channel, um, Lost Mentes, the world tour video. Sorry, not Lost Mentes, Mr. Puggy, Mr. Cat, that tour video. If you didn't see that, go watch that. That back there with this uh, couple stone staircase was a nether portal. Anyways, this is in front of the house. Sniper Wolf, uh, we did a little Easter egg there with the two dogs. So one dog sniper, one dog wolf. Um, don't think um, this world's name Sniper Wolf because it's something weird or something. Genuinely, it, we just thought Sniper Wolf was a cool name. Uh, even though it is a YouTuber, we used to watch her at the time as well, but we didn't name it that because of her. We just thought Sniper Wolf was a cool name for like a world that had at the time a lot of wolves, but died over time due to glitches. Um, there's a kitchen here, so we had, I made a fridge with basically just a dispenser, a lever, you open the dispenser with the lever, and it opens the fridge, and gives you a piece of food. This world's kind of lackluster looking back at it, um, here's like a bar area, I really kind of weird, once again, doesn't look that great. Uh, you can sit down here, and as you see, there's me. Uh, I have full leather armor, I don't know where the leggings went. Couch right there made of andesite, and this is like a, like a greenhouse glass dome thing i don't know but some seeing in here um upstairs we have a bunch of abandoned bedrooms another unnamed dog here one bedroom here one bedroom here and if we go in here another bedroom which was my bedroom and these are my two cats leah and Petey. uh those are my two cats both of my two of my favorite cats in minecraft my chests, which I forgot which had this in, so that's uh, interesting. And they didn't have much, I thought it had a bit more than that. Anyways, let's go into the basement now where the air ducts came from. So here is the whole wackest chest room ever. For some reason I thought it would be cool to put them on this ceiling, I don't know. I really don't know why. For some reason I changed the color of the walls to spruce and the floor to gravel. Honestly, my builds in 2020 were whack, I'm gonna be honest. Anyways, here's the janky entrance to the enchantment room. I have to pull six levers just to get in. Uh, here it is. I think this gives level 30, but I placed the enchanting table in the wrong spot. It's too far away from the- oh my god. It's so far away from the books that it doesn't even give off the enchantments. Wow, okay. Anyways, let's shut this up. And let's move on. Next up, over here, oh, oh right, the laboratory, I forgot about the laboratory, my apologies. This is a laboratory we made, small lab, mainly used for netherite, or not, not netherite, um, what's it called? I forgot the name of that nether fungus, so that's embarrassing, I'm a Minecraft player. Anyways, this is Eakins, our pet, um, wait, what's this thing called? Bro, I haven't seen this thing in so long, I forgot what it's called. Anyways, brewing stands here. And some nether wart right there, that's the name of it, nether wart. Here's some nether wart growing. And we built it to the way that you came and collect it unless you break the walls. So, yeah, let's put this nether wart back here. Fill it up all the way. For some reason, my inventory's full. I never used to um, empty out my inventory. Uh, put the block there. Anyways, now we can go down here into where the mine is. So this is some random thing. I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna be honest. I forgot what it's supposed to be. I know what the block is, obviously, but that's supposed to be in the nether, not here. Anyways, this is one of my old friends. This is what this what he for some reason wanted to live in the mine. So this was his little base here, I guess. So he used to have like a crafting table, uh, like a crafting area, I should say. His bed was there. Like he didn't even decorate his base. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyways. 
anyways, these mines go on, like, practically infinitely, honestly. Uh, I, I'm trying to find the entrance to the main mine. That's not it. That and that's a dead end. I think it's over here by the nether rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. So you come down here, like a little decorated area, not much, just like bars and fences. I don't know. Uh, come down the staircase, and we get here, where you can take the minecart down, but the minecart tracks are a bit broken, and we don't have any minecarts because I think they despawn. And uh, yeah, here is like the main like hall. You got all the stuff there. Unfinished beacon room thing. This is supposed to be finished, but never did get finished, unfortunately. Um, I'm not gonna go through the mine because there's literally nothing. A lot of stuff in this world despawned because this world started in 1.14, 1.13 and 1.14. So going through that many updates, this world's really jank. Anyways, let's get back up here. I'll get back with you guys once I'm up. All right, guys, we are back at the main floor of the basement. Now let's continue on the tour. We are not done. We still have a couple things to go in the basement, so just some random barrels there. Here is the vault. Now this vault originally was for all of our valuables, because there was a point in this world we had so much valuables we didn't know where to put them. Um, this at one point was stacked with diamonds and iron and gold, but over over time it got used and griefed and stolen and all that good stuff. So yeah, there's just some random ores in there. Now in here, here's the control room if you didn't see the sign right there. Um, if you come in here, there's like a little decorative laptop and mouse and stuff like that. But you flick these two levers on these pistons and it opens this door to basically the safe room, I guess you could call it. So some obsidian walls there. And here is where all the valuables went before the vault. So there's still some other scrap in here. Um, not much good stuff in here anymore except the eyes of ender. I guess you could say those are good. And yeah, I'll meet you guys when I get outside of this house. Okay, we finished it going inside that house, but now let's take the tour around here. Here is the nether portal that you guys might have saw earlier today in the, around the intro time frame. Um, it got destroyed because there's a new nether portal that we will show later on. Here's a horse pen that has like three or four horses in it, but they all despawn for whatever reason. Um, next we'll go to the starter base, which is a tree house. So let's go in here. Uh, okay, here we are. It says welcome right there. Uh, as you see, that's where the house is. Uh, so in here, this is where my bedroom was in this tree house. The tree house is really cool because it, it, it basically has 360 degree angle on anything. So like, at, like all around it, you can go around and see. You can see the house we were just in, the house that we're touring after this, and you can see the nether portal. You can practically see anything. This is the old crafting room here. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna open this up a bit, even though I'm not playing this well anymore, I feel like this is too tight. Also, if you guys are wondering why these fences are here, we used to have, like, 18, 19 dogs in this little area. Uh, until we got griefed and they all died, unfortunately, they got killed, but that's alright. Here's my friend's, here's my friend's bedroom. He was actually, this person's bedroom is actually the latest person to join the world. This is Darius, the same person that is the co-owner of the last world we toured, Mr. Quinn and Mr. Cat. Um, this is another bedroom here. The, um, there used to be a bed right there and where the two logs are. And then where I place these logs, this used to be a wall completely. And then this used to be a crafting area. And that's that for the treehouse, I think. Except there's still a brewing area here that um, got moved. Here's the armory. So you got like a blast furnace there. Some armor stands that have nothing on them because they didn't have anything. And I think that's it for the tree house. I th yeah, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I forgot the farm. Here is the farm main source of food. I know three players lasted on this food. That's crazy. We honestly didn't use it that much. We used more animals. But yeah. Also, a water feature from the farm. I don't even know why this exists. It doesn't look that good. But yeah, there's that. Here is the f original mine before we made the mine from the laboratory that you guys saw earlier. This mine also goes on a really long time, so I'm not going to go in there. Anyways, now we're going to move on to the final house, which is right over here. And this was uh, pretty much the last build of this world. This world didn't last too long. Um, So, like a natural looking staircase going up to it. There's like a patio deck area out front. Come inside, it's 
it's a lot well it's a lot more decorated than the first one a lot better decorated i should say it looks a lot better in here so here's like the kitchen area so that's the fridge then the oven couch right here for whatever reason uh here's the basement which is unfinished uh but it was getting cleared out to be bigger than the basement you guys saw earlier so it was gonna be pretty much double the size and yeah so there's that some bookshelves right there if you come upstairs more empty bedrooms some of them have beds some of them don't uh or do all of them have beds they might all have beds i'm not sure let's see okay yeah i think they might all have beds yeah okay well uh, for some reason i thought that, uh, only like one or two of them had beds but okay here's like a wash tower i guess thing on top of this house but there's really nothing up here so i'm just gonna break that and let's just go down here Okay, so I'm just gonna jump off here. Uh, for the most part, I don't think I'll take damage. I'm wearing nether. Yeah, okay, we're fine. So this is the backyard of the house that we were just in. So as you see, uh, there's like a pond here. Very ugly pond. Uh, if you're wondering how you get in the backyard, there is a door right here from the kitchen. Branching around. And yeah, so you come in here. And you... It's just a shed, but then right here, there's a trap door. You open it, you go down in the water, and here's another portal. Secret nether portal. And you go in the nether portal. I don't think there's anything in the nether, if I'm correct. I might be wrong. But I don't think there's anything in the nether except the netherite mine, which is literally just a mine, so I'm not going to show that. But yeah, there's nothing in here. Just a bunch of um, dirt, dirt towers from escaping from mobs and stuff. All that type of stuff. But I'll meet you. I'll meet with you guys when I get up off of this tedious staircase, and yeah, we'll do the outro. Okay, guys, I've made it out of that tedious staircase that I hate. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.